Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name is Andy, my channel is Finding Value. If you guys are looking for undervalued investment opportunities, click subscribe. Uh, we're looking at one right now. This is Uranium Technical Analysis Update. Uh, the Uranium to gold ratio, very cheap. It's under just under 60, it's like 50, high 50s uh, to one ounce gold, which means that Uranium is incredibly cheap uh, to gold on a historical basis. I view gold as just nothing more than an accounting mechanism for the money supply. That's it. And that over time, gold does fluctuate against the money supply. Uh, we are very cheap in relationship to the money supply at the moment. So if you have a cheap ratio against gold, and gold's a cheap ratio against the monetary base uh, or money supply, uh, over time, this should account for, gold should account for the money supply, uranium should account for the supply, demand, and balance. Uh, and that supply demand imbalance will write itself against gold uh, itself. So all of these ratios should compress over time against each other in a favorable way for uranium, uh, especially against the money supply and against stocks. So let's go in here, look at some of this technical analysis. But what I did today is I looked at some of the short-term stuff on some of the larger companies. And then I looked at longer term charts for all the companies. So we're getting a little bit different viewpoint, not just the short term day to day movements. I'm looking at the big long term picture. So let's jump in here and look at what I've got. So here's North Shore Global Uranium Mining ETF. We broke out to the downside. And looking at this portion on the right hand side here, it looks like we're going to bounce around for a while, probably head lower over the next few days and maybe bounce back and forth over time. But on the short term, I'd say sideways to downward pressure still. Uh, here it is on the long term, we could come all the way back down and maybe back test, retest this breakout. Uh, this is the breakout here, we broke out, kind of back tested here, we're coming on up, had a little bit of a sell off, and we could come down to that 50-ish area, you know, low 50s, high 40s even. Is, is on the it's on the table. Here's Camco, uh, squeezed up, broke to the downside. We're coming back up, but we're squeezing up and tightening. The opening and closing price is tightening each other here. So I think we're going to head lower over the next few days, uh, sideways to lower, and create a basing pattern. It's going to have to base out here a little bit before heading higher. If it will head higher, we might base for a while. Now, in a long-term perspective, this is what it looks like. We have this big, long downtrend line. We broke it to the upside. And so, you know, at some point, we're going to pull back. This is way over, I mean, we're way over the 200-day moving average. We're way over the 50-day moving average. And usually what happens is you cycle around the 50-day. So we're, we're just having normal pullback in uranium happening. In next-gen energy, again, we squeezed up, broke to the downside, and we're pulling back. We've got a contraction on this up move over these three days. It contracted where the opening and closing prices are contracting closer and closer to each other. And I think we're going to roll over and kind of move sideways for a little bit. That's my guess on the short term. Uh, Next Gen Energy on a long term perspective, you can see we broke out of this downtrend line. It broke up, paused a little bit, and then took off. And now we broke this uptrend, and we're going to probably come back somewhere in this range down here. This is my guess. So I, I still see a pullback um, ensuing here. Fission uranium on the short term, again, we squeezed up, pulled back. Uh, I still think we're going to bounce around sideways in here and kind of base out and consolidate. On the long term, uh, it makes sense. We draw the trend line in, we broke to the upside, and now we're kind of back testing that. We may have a little bit lower to go. Uh, before we hit this trend line uh, and do like almost a complete retest. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor it, but on the long term, this is pretty normal thing to do. <clears throat> Deep yellow, uh, again, we, we're, we're kind of coming down here. We found some support. We've got little wicks on the bottom. We popped higher. Uh, I still think we're going to move sideways for a little bit longer, uh, but there are some buyers at least down here. On a long-term perspective, you, you attach all these kind of points in here, and we broke out, and now we're kind of coming back and doing a retest. 
pretty normal for this to happen. As long as this holds, this line, uh, everything's still game on for a, an uptrend move. Uh, Denison Mines, looking at it from a short term, again, we're getting this rollover, these black candlesticks where the opening price opens and then throughout the day, it's either flat to lower the momentum. So we might still kind of bounce around in here uh, sideways. And on the long-term perspective, everything looks great. We just got into an overbought situation. Uh, I think it's just a normal pullback, kind of getting some of these cabbage hand guys out of here. So everything looks good. I mean, we broke the downtrend on a long-term perspective. We broke it with massive move, big, huge volume coming up. And now we're just getting our first kind of big pullback. Completely normal. UUUU, same thing. We're getting this nice pullback here. We pulled up. I think we're going to move sideways for a little bit longer before heading higher. On, on a long-term perspective, we broke the downtrend. We've been you know far away from the 50-day and 200-day. I think we're going to just have a normal correction that we're going through. Gobiax Uranium, not much to say here on the long-term. It's... We're coming back. I mean, we've got this downtrend line that broke. Kind of pulled back here. Uh, Bannerman Resources, here's our downtrend line. We broke to the upside. And again, this is just our first kind of pullback going on. Doesn't look too bad. Forces Metals, pullback. I mean, we, this went straight higher, so we're going to see a normal pullback here. Uh, Form Energy Metals, we got this nice bowl cup-shaped pattern that developed. Drawing the trend line or, or support line, resistance line here. Coming on up, and I think we'll do a little bit of a pullback. Maybe we pull all the way back to the 50-day. Maybe even goes to the 200-day or to this support line here. Normal pullback and a big long-term uh, move. And if you look, you've got the downtrend here. You've got the accumulation phase at the bottom. And now we're in an uptrend. So we're in an uptrend. We just have a pullback within the uptrend. Pure point uranium, it's still kind of down here below its accumulation phase. I think we're going to break up and, and start moving higher at some point. UEC, again, these are all big weekly long-term charts. Broke the downtrend, first normal uh, pullback to the 50-day so far. Can Alaska, this thing looks pretty good on a long-term perspective. We broke, broke the downtrend to the upside, and we're just kind of coming back and back testing right now. I, I think right here is not a bad spot uh, to start watching it. Sky Harbor broke out, kind of came back, and sometimes these things will come back to the 50-day or 200-day and then launch on higher if the timing's right. The volume's there. It's accumulating it, so looks good. Base load, uh, we pulled up higher in this nice, strong uptrend move, broke the uptrend line, pulled back. We're basing out kind of. We've got a low, a higher low. We got a little bit lower low here, or about the same. Uh, we got a downtrend line that broke. I think we're going to move higher at some point uh, with base load. If they, can, if they can get catharsis moving and work shadow eventually uh, their projects, uh, I think this will be a good good long term bet. Encore Energy, you can see the big basing pattern accumulation phase in here broke to the upside and it really launched higher. Yeah, this is this is our first kind of big pullback. And that's that's all it is. It's just a normal pullback. These things are normal. Here's Laramide. Laramide broke out of its downtrend here. So it broke out, step one. We've got this other guy in here that's got a lot of resistance up here, a couple of hits. We bounced off that resistance, came back. We came to the 50 day, and we'll see what happens here. But I'd like to see it break this 50, you know, 50 cent ish area. Uh, Centris, we have Centris here. We, we broke the downtrend here. We've been moving sideways. We've got some resistance up here. We've got this big bull bowl, shaped pattern that's developed. We're right at the 50 day moving on up. I don't think it looks too bad. Blue Sky Uranium on a big uh, long term perspective broke the downtrend. All these downtrend breaks, this is all incredibly good for the sector. Uh, it is, we are in uptrends. Low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. We are, we've got higher lows. The highs are just starting to make higher highs on a short term basis. This here is just, bouncing around right now. This is in an uptrend. It is, it's broke its downtrend. We're in an uptrend and it could go all the way back and retest even. It's possible, uh, but we're broke out. We're in an uptrend. Big long-term perspective is what's needed. UEXCF broke its downtrend, coming on up. 
and we're, we're in an uptrend. We just got our first little kind of pullback going on within the uptrend. And then Fission 3.0, we've got the downtrend still. We're still in this downtrend area right in the point. Higher lows stepping up into the downtrend line, and we're waiting for a, a break here at some point. So Fission 3.0 looks pretty good for a exploration company. So on a long-term perspective, downtrends are broke. Uh, we've got good valuation still. Uh, we've got our first kind of major pullback on a, on a short-term basis. I don't think we're gonna, it's, we're not starting a new downtrend. Uh, we're in a, we're in a, in a short-term pullback in an uptrend move, in a big uptrend move. Uh, and that's why I'm showing you guys the big picture for a lot of these companies. Some of them haven't broken out yet. A lot of them already have. Uh, the explorers are lagging uh, the group, which is pretty, I mean, that's pretty normal and it's common uh, for the exploration companies to kind of lag the producing and development companies. But a lot of these companies, they broke out. We've got, we're getting our first kind of major pullback here. I think it's going to take some time. We got to consolidate for a little bit, base this thing out, and then launch from the base. That's kind of how I view things. Uh, but overall, from a big long-term perspective, we're looking good. And from a value perspective, we're looking good. If you guys like this type of analysis, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.